Pee Wee says, have you ever tried a guitar from Diamond Guitars? I have. Uh, when Jeff Diamant, which they used to call him Jeff Diamond, owned a Diamond Guitars, uh, he sent me a Diamond Guitar. We had a call once, and in the call, he was like, it was like me and two other YouTubers. He was like, why don't I send you all guitars? So I bought a Diamond Guitar, and he sent me a guitar. And uh, I did a, a video of the one he sent me. And uh, it was a really cool guitar. It was uh, To me, it was in, up there in the Schecter realm of quality and cool. And then uh, it's been sold to another company. I had one interesting exchange with that company. <laughs> one thing I hate about having this podcast is, is you guys ask me a question like that. And all I can think about is like this interaction I have with a company. And I think how every time I tell these stories, these companies get really pissy with me. But it's like all I'm doing is telling the story that happened. So it's like I, don't, I didn't do anything wrong. Um, so <laughs> so Diamond Guitars, uh, they're owned by a new company. I believe it's World. It's not World like the manufacturer in Korea. Um, it's World Distribution or World something. I don't know. It's something I think in Canada. And they reached out to me and a ton of YouTube channels at the same time because I remember we all t were talking about it. a ton of us were talking about, and uh, they asked me if they were if I was interested in checking out Diamond Guitar. I said yeah. I said I, I used to know the old owner. I said I'd like to see what you guys are doing with them now, um, you know. And I I basically said like I think I I think I told you guys this. This is back uh, early into co uh, in before COVID started, beginning COVID when I used to tell manufacturers like why don't you send two guitars. And I'll do two videos. And if I like one, I'll keep the one I like and send the other one back. And, uh, you know, we'll do it that way. And I thought that would be a cool way to get some more content, you know, more videos for everybody. But also, if I got in a situation where I like really like the guitar, I could keep one. And uh, he was like, yeah, we, we can't do that. You can borrow them. And um, I was really nice because I was, you know, uh, I guess I'm still nice. <laughs> but I was nicer then. I said, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just laughing. I'm going to tell you the story. I just got to get a second to get it out. Uh, I said, uh, I go, I go, well, I'm easy going. This is what I basically told him. I said, Hey, I'm easy going. I go, most of these channels, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, you got to pay them. You know, they're not going to do a bunch of videos for a possible one free $600 guitar. It's not going to work. I go, just, I'm just giving you advice. Like maybe you want, you know, want, want to rethink your, marketing strategy if your strategy is you're going to loan all these channels guitars so they can do work for videos that their audiences aren't looking for i said it's just it's just my two cents and then he's like well i'm sorry we're not used to talking to youtube channels and i said oh i know i understand i totally totally get it i said um and again i said like i said i'm just letting you guys know if you want some help as you guys know some of you guys I, you guys watch a lot of youtube you know some youtubers will tell you flat out if they don't get paid they won't do any videos so i was just basically giving them a heads up like i don't think that's going to go over well with those channels um and he said uh well we're just we're used to dealing with people like post malone and i said cool what's his guitar channel about <laughs> that's what i responded with I said, I'll have to check out his guitar channel. I don't know. I'm laughing because I remember when I sent it. I was like, I was just sitting it because I'm like, I don't know what the hell. Po I don't know what happened in this conversation. I was just like, all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm like, just like, hey, man, I'll do a video. But if I like one of the guitars, can I keep it? And he's like, no. And I'm like, all right. Well, then basically, uh, you know, so you, so you guys know he's the reason that company had to say it. Screw it. They're the reason why if I'm going to do a video for totally for nothing, no guitar, no amp, no nothing, no gear, no payment, no nothing. Uh, they give money to charity because I was like, well, wait a minute. If I'm going to do free work, I'll do free work for charities. I go, if the I'll make a video, the audience gets a video and a charity gets something out of it. I'll do that. But I'm not here to supplement multi-million dollar companies. So you could go, <laughs> right? I don't understand that at all. Um I'll, I'll, I buy guitars all the time that I like and put them on my channel. I don't need to buy guitars I don't like <laughs> to put on the channel. Um, so I just thought it was funny. But then when he's like, Post Malone, I was like, um, and I would be lying a little bit, just a little bit if I said, didn't tell you guys, I didn't really know who Post Malone was. So when he said Post Malone, I kind of knew that was a, that's like a pop artist or a rapper or something. So I Googled it and I was like, okay, it's some kind of big deal guy. And then I said, oh, who's Post Malone? I didn't say who's Post Malone. I go, oh, does he have a, what's his guitar channel about? Can I'll have to check it out. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I just know it always ends up hell. I always end up with these companies like pissed at me for telling these stories, but I always kind of funny that, oh, Pee Wee says, Dean's new line of guitars are beautiful. I haven't seen them. I'll have to check them out. Remember Dean uh, Zlinski reached out and the channel and I, 
I gave him the same thing. I told him, I said, you know, if you'd make a donation to charity, I'll do a deep dive video on one of the guitars and never heard back from him again. So that's fine. Like I said, no, no worries. Uh, like I said, I did a Dean Zielinski guitar. I bought it and put it on the channel for you guys. And um, so we'll do that. Like I said, if you guys want a guitar video, if you want a video, just keep telling me. I'll get it. I'll put it on the channel. I'll, uh, you know, I would rather... Here's why. When I when I do content, I don't... I feel like this, this, this show went whack, wacky. But anyways, if I do videos that I know you guys are interested in, there's a fillingness to it. It's like, I feel like when I'm working those hours and I do the video, I feel like the end, somebody's going to be like, oh, cool. I enjoyed this video and we wanted to see it. Um, so that's why I'll, I'll, I'll pay for this stuff, but I won't pay for a guitar if a company wants it. I'm like, well, you're, you're a company. You're not a charity. You're not a nonprofit. So, you know, I don't need to help every company. I'd rather help charities or make content that my viewers want to see or do something I want to do. All those three things are priority to me. If you enjoyed this podcast clip, you can watch the entire episode by clicking the link in the description or streaming it on iTunes, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. You can also join it live every week, Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I hope to see you there. Until next time, know your gear.